Okay. okay. I understand why it is going off. I don't know, but I'm now okay. So I was telling you, welcome to an evening of enlightenment. And Sudhi Bhargava confirms that we are good audio and video. Let me welcome my dearest uh, Sip Raju, Sip Bliko, Sip Hitkariji, Sip Pankaj, Sip Rajatnam, Sip Sudip, Sip Sagairaj, Sip Dasi, Sip Gautam, Sip Sangam, Sip Parutyama, Sip Samatma, Sip Yogini, Sip Rekha, Sip Girish, and Sip Ashok Maheshwari. Welcome. And today we are discussing what are the 10 key realizations that we need to start a serious quest for enlightenment. Why is it that people are not starting this quest for enlightenment? What is the reason? And today I want to tell you 10 key realizations. And I don't know how many of you uh, are stuck in any one of them. Or you may be having some people around you as a, an enlightenment life coach. You may want to guide people how to start a quest. Uh, so I, I see Hitkari Ji Namaskar. I do not know whether I welcomed you. So with that note, why people don't start a quest is because they don't realize what they must realize. Forget about enlightenment. Enlightenment comes later. But what are the 10 simple, for example, you tell a child, brush your teeth. Not a big deal, right? Brush your teeth, watch your, wash your face, tie your shoelaces. Everybody has to do it. So my point to you is what are the 10 key realizations, simple realizations one must have to start a quest? You know, my dear friends, this is a very beautiful story. And let me share this story with you. It's a Japanese legend. It's a Japanese legend. And what happened in this Japanese legend is, it is said that when, an, when a person crosses the age of 90, then what they do is they take that person up to the mountain and they leave them there to die. It's an old Japanese legend and folklore Japanese that if you reach, if you reach that age of 90, then you are taken to the top of the mountain. So one little boy, one man, he carries his 90 year old mother and takes her up to the mountain. Have I told you the story, Sudhir? So he carries his 90 year old mother as he's walking through the jungle, traversing to the top of the mountain he notices the mother. She keeps on plucking branches from the tree and drops it, drops it, drops. And she keeps on dropping branches of, of, uh, from the trees as he's walking up. And this boy is already little, this guy is little disturbed. He tells his mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? And she tells him, you know, you're taking me to the top of the mountain. And you will leave me there. But what if you can't find your way back? So if you can't find your way back, I'm dropping these branches so you don't get lost in the jungle. My dear friends, what I do is I am also dropping branches. I am dropping branches tomorrow, whether I'm there or I'm not there. The branches will help you walk that path of enlightenment. My job is to help you to develop that path. And so I like the story of the Japanese, the old Japanese legend. And I try my best to get you. So what are the 10, what are the 10 realizations? What are the 10 key realizations that one must have to start the quest? The first realization is this, I must realize the truth. Simple realization, I must realize the truth. We don't realize that we have not realized the truth. We just drift through life. And we drift through life. We drift through life and we don't get to that point of realization. Because 
we don't realize that we have not realized the truth. If we, many of us think, ah, I know it. I know everything. See, there are two things, like I told you. One is I drop these branches and I let you walk on the path. The second, do you just believe what I say or do you trust? What is the difference between belief and trust? You remember the story, the interesting story between belief and trust, you remember? For those of you who don't remember, let me repeat the story of belief and trust. There's a man who's doing tightrope walking across from one building to another building. There's a rope. He ties, the rope is tied. He holds a pole in his hand to balance and he's walking on the 20th floor of the building. You know, on the 20th floor, uh, there is in, in big cities, Mumbai, Singapore, London, you have huge tall buildings and you, he's very, he's walking on the tightrope and he walks step, 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 step and he crosses them. People clap, yay, and then he comes down in the elevator. And there's a stage there. They put a garland on him. And then he asks them, how many of you believe that I can do it again? And they all said, well, all put up their hand. We are, you are a superb, you're an expert. You can do it. So he says, okay, you're sure I can do it? They say, yes, we are sure you can do it. He asks them, okay, I'm going to do it again. How many of you are willing to give me your child? I will carry your child on my back and I will do it. There was pin drop silence. In the previous case, he was carrying his child on his back and he was doing this exercise. And when he told them, how many of you are willing to give your child? There was stillness, complete stillness. He tells them that's the difference between faith and trust. When you have faith, you believe. When you have trust, you surrender, you hand over. So my dear friends, you have to be able to surrender. You have to be able to have complete trust in this journey, this quest. So the second realization is this, I am ignorant. The first realization is, is what? First realization, I told you, I must realize the truth. I must realize the truth. Keep it as R. R for I must realize. I'm going to give you some alphabets to remember. R, I must realize the truth. I, I am ignorant. I am ignorant. And because we think we are ignorant, because of that, we do not realize the truth. Because we don't realize that we are ignorant. We are ignorant of our ignorance. So my dear friends, what do we do? You have to overcome ignorance. And you don't know how to overcome ignorance because there is a method. You can't sweep darkness out of a room with a broom. You can't sweep darkness out of a room with a broom. You need a light. So you need enlightenment. And in enlightenment, the truth is this. What is the truth? Avidya ke karan hum sab tadapte andhkar me jite aur fir hum marte unar janam fir hum lete mukti nahi hum paate prabhu se na ek ho jate How are we going to overcome ignorance, my dear friends? It is so important that one realization, I must R, realize the truth. Second, I am I, ignorant. Third, B, R, I, B, I can be blissful forever. I can be blissful. We don't realize that there is a way to eternal happiness. What do we think? Ah, dunya mein kabhi, kabhi khushi, kabhi gam, tara, ram, pam, pam. Huh? This is what we think. Na? Kabhi kushi, kabhi gab, kabhi sukh, kabhi duk. But there is a way to eternal happiness. 
How do you reach that state of eternal happiness? How do you become an enlightened person who reaches? You know the story of the astrologer who met Buddha? Have you heard the story of the astrologer? The astrologer meet Buddha. And he says, oh, as per my astrology, I was supposed to meet a great, great conqueror. But I hear I see just a monk. Where is the conqueror? According to my astrology, I have come all the way because I was supposed to meet a great conqueror. And he asks Buddha, where is the great conqueror here? My astrology is completely wasted. And Buddha tells him, your astrology is not wasted. Your astrology is not wasted because I am the conqueror. He says, is it? What have you conquered? And Buddha tells him, there are two types of conquerors. One who conquers the enemy on the external and one who conquers the enemy that is inside. I have conquered all the enemies inside. I have conquered fear, hate, anger, revenge, jealousy, stress, unhappiness. Isn't that a great... So this is the way that the Buddha explains to the, to the, uh, the astrologer. My dear friends, there is a way of eternal happiness, but we don't know it. And what, did, what does a Buddha, what does an enlightened person realize? Fourth realization. I must discover my purpose. P. P for purpose. So I must discover that life has a purpose. Life is not just meant to live and to die. The purpose of life is to discover the purpose of life. So if you want enlightenment, we have covered up to now four simple key realizations. R-I-B-P. Remember, I must realize the truth. I am ignorant. I can be blissful. I must discover the purpose. Four. Because if we don't discover the purpose, then our life is wasted. I always tell myself, how many people know this? Oh, karam se hame bachna. Yehi maksad jine ke. When Ashok Maheshwari tells me, no, I want to do good karma, good karma, good karma. And I will attain moksha. I say, good, you do good karma. But don't get attached to that karma. Don't think I am doing karma. The moment you get attached to the karma, that means you will come back. No, I don't do anything. Oh, I don't do anything. Lord, my hands are yours. You do. I do nothing. I am nothing. I do nothing. Ashok Maheshwari, keep reminding yourself these two lines. I do nothing. I am nothing. I do nothing. I am nothing. I do nothing. I am nothing. Keep on reminding yourself of these things. My dear friends, fifth realization. R-I-B-P-B. P-B. Bees, I am not the body. I am not the body. We don't realize who we truly are. The body comes later. Is it so difficult to understand? We are conceived nine months before that birthday where we cut a cake on a day that is fake. When will we realize that we are the S-O-U-L, the spark of unique life that came nine months before? You know something? There cannot be an easier way to enlightenment than this next one minute I'm talking to you. This one minute is the minute of enlightenment. What is the one minute? I am not this body. The body was formed over nine months in the womb of my mother. The body will die. People are so sure I am not the body. They say I passed away. They burn the body. They bury the body. They destroy the body. Is it so difficult, my dear friends, to realize I am not this body? You know, it seems so easy when I talk to you, but we are all painting the body and uh, pampering the body and thinking we are the body, when in reality, 
we are not the body. My dear friends, when are we going to realize this truth? So I've come to you with R-I-B, R-I-B, P-B. I must realize the truth. I am ignorant. I can be blissful. I have a purpose. I am not this body. PBM. I am not the mind and ego that keeps saying me. RIB, PBM. Sixth realization. RIB, rib, PBM. Some people say rib problem. Huh? RIB, PBM. Rib problem. RIB, PBM. I am not the mind and ego that keeps saying me. We must realize this. Where is the mind? You cannot find. We appear to be the ego, but in reality, the ego is an illusion. It doesn't exist. My dear friends, it is so important for us to have these key realizations. And if we don't have these key realizations, there is no chance. You will never reach enlightenment. I am giving you 10 simple key realizations. And these 10 simple key realizations are what you need to get on to that state of enlightenment. How often have I sung the song to you? How often? Jeevan ka maksad hai aisa sona hai ke main ye nahi main vahi Mukti hai paana, nirvana hai paana, ehsaas hona hai mein vahi. Sach to yehi hai ke ye tan nahi hai tan to jita marta yehi. Main to ik atma hu, main to amar hu, ye tan nahi mein hu vahi. Ye nahi, ye nahi, main vahi, main vahi, shivoham, shivoham, main vahi, main to sach mein hu vahi, main to sach mein hu vahi, main ye nahi, ye main nahi, sach mein to main hu vahi, par ye jo hai, ये ना चाहे एहसास हो जाए मैं वही एहसास हो जाए मैं वही my dear friends the body the mind the ego does not want us to realize neti neti tatvamasi not this not this thou art that it doesn't want us to realize six realizations key realizations r i b p b m I must realize the truth. I am ignorant. I can be blissful. I have a purpose. I am not the body. I am not the mind and ego. M. S L W S. Number seven. S. I am the soul divine. I am the divine soul. S. We don't realize that we are that spark of unique life that came alive in the first cell of the zygote at conception. We are the soul that will depart at death. When you start realizing all these realizations, you are on the way to enlightenment. SL, number eight, realization number eight. L, I must be liberated. I must be liberated. I must be liberated. I must be liberated. This is what you need to have as the mantra. R-I-B. P B M S L. I am the soul. I must be liberated. We don't realize the body and mind is like a prison in which we are prisoners who suffer. Our goal is liberation, freedom from rebirth. Don't, don't, don't you all know that we all suffer? Is it not true that we all suffer? We all suffer because we are attached. I don't think I have told you all the story of the old monk and the new monk who went on a pilgrimage. Did I tell you the story? Old monk and the new monk, young monk, who went on a pilgrimage for 10 days. Have I told the story, the 10-day pilgrimage? No. There was an old Buddha, old monk. 
And this old monk, what he did, he took a young monk for a pilgrimage for 10 days. And as they were going for the pilgrimage, the young monk was observing this old monk. And this old monk was carrying one bag. He did not leave the bag even for 10 seconds. If he was going to the toilet, he was taking the bag with him. If he was sleeping, he was making the bag into a pillow, keeping and sleeping on the pillow. When the young monk told him, give me the bag, I will carry. He said, no, no, I will not give. This bag, don't touch, only I will carry. The young monk was very curious. One day, when this man was sleeping, somehow he pulled that bag and he opened it. It had two big, solid bars of gold. It had two big, solid bars of gold, like two big rocks, rock, rock-sized gold. And the young monk was a very intelligent person. So what he did, he took these two big rocks and there was a well nearby. He threw the rock, he threw the gold in the well. And he took two rocks from the jungle and put it in the, put it in the bag to make it look like the gold bars. Because they were wrapped, they were wrapped in some cloth. So you cannot make out, nicely wrapped in cloth. And he put it and put it under the monk. Monk got up in the morning, took his bag, and started walking. So the sixth day, seventh day passed pilgrimage. And this monk was still attached to this bag. So that young monk tells this old monk, you don't need to worry about this bag anymore. So monk said, why, what happened? He said, open and see what is inside. So the monk opened the bag and he saw his gold bars were missing. Somebody had given him a gift, these two gold bars. And he, even though he was a monk, he got attached to it. So the young monk told him, now you can, you don't have to be worried about the, about the gold being stolen because I have thrown the gold in the well far long back, three days back. Three days back, I have thrown the gold. And then the monk realized that he was living with fear, with worry, with stress, with anxiety because he was attached to this gold, which had no real value. To the monk, what would he do with the gold? My dear friends, how many of us realize that we are attached to such gold? It may be a person, it may be possession, it may be a pleasure, addiction. How many of us realize we suffer? How many of us realize we are suffering, my dear friends? We need liberation. That monk was liberated because the young monk threw the gold in the well. God, somewhere, some in the jungle, three days back, he has thrown the gold. Are we willing to throw irrelevant things that are making us prisoners? Are we willing to let go to be liberated? Because this monk story made me realize many of us are like this monk. We are clinging on. We are clinging and we suffer because we cling. We need enlightenment. R I B. I must realize the truth. I am ignorant. I can be blissful. P B M. I have a purpose. I am not the body. I am not the mind. S L. I am the soul. I need to be liberated. W. W. W, W, W. I am wasting my life. I am wasting my life. We don't realize we are wasting our life, my dear friends. We are just drifting and we are not lifting. We are sinking in this world. R I B P B M S L W. These are simple realizations. And I give it to you in a simple formula. And I want you to reach the moment of enlightenment. How will you do it? You have to realize. Dunia safal ta ki khoj mein hai. Insaan samsaar ke bhog mein hai. Hum sochte hai sukh 
इसी में है पैसों में है और नाम शोहरत में है इनके पीछे हम दिन रात भागते हैं इच्छाओं में जीवन बिताते हैं प्रभु के योग में न जीते व्यर्थ जीते जीवन गवाते वी आर वेस्टिंग आर लाइफ माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वी आर वेस्टिंग वेस्टिंग रतन त्याग कौड़ी संग रचे वी आर वेस्टिंग आर लाइफ कलेक्टिंग मीनिंगलेस लाइक दैट मंक ही वॉज वेस्टिंग इज लाइफ क्लिंगिंग ऑन टू टू बार्स ऑफ गोल्ड वॉट विल द मंक डू दैट मंक विल डाई वन डे हम डोंट रियलाइज दिस हम नो दिस वी विल डाई वन डे वॉट विल यू डू How much of a money you have in your cupboard? How many of a watches you have? Mobile phones you have? How much of a bank deposit you have? How many of a properties you have? Can you take a pin with you? One pin. Your glass of life is getting over, and you are filling your glass of life with material possessions, which you will have to leave behind. Can anybody deny this? That you have to leave every pin behind? Huh? Can you deny it? when will we realize when will we realize that we are wasting our life rib pbm slw s s i i seek the supreme i seek to unite with the supreme i seek to unite with my source we don't realize that our ultimate goal is to become one with the divine all religions talk of it salvation nirvana moksha mukti but do we understand what it means my dear friends i have given you 10 key realizations that you must have simple child like realize today's subject is so child like rib pbm slws rib problem solves s l w s rib problem solves r i b i must realize the truth i am ignorant i can be blissful i have a purpose i am not the body i am not the mind i am the soul i must be liberated i am wasting my life i seek the supreme my dear friends when will we let go of all the fairy tales all the myth today many of you have lived the day with another fairy tale i saw a message flashing up on the screen so i remember you are thinking today is lord krishna's birthday ha huh? today is janmashtami are kabhi prabhu ka janm ho sakta hai kabhi prabhu ka janm ho sakta hai kabhi prabhu mar sakte hain can god be born and can god die when will we overcome our ignorance r i i must realize the truth i am ignorant i can be blissful pbm i have a purpose i am not the body i am not the mind s l w s i am the soul i must be liberated i am wasting my life i seek the supreme i seek the supreme my dear friends stop and realize where are you missing many of you are still still in this world of krishna and rama and shiva and ganesha when will you realize you are yourself krishna when will you realize that you are a manifestation of krishna you are krishna you are rama you are shiva you are ganesha when will you realize that god lives in the temple of your heart my dear friends next week i am going to help you on what is called pirlu pirlu is a beautiful journey and i will talk about it next week but sometimes we need pirlu to live these 10 simple key realizations i don't know how many of you have captured it rib pbm slws last last time i am repeating for you i must realize the truth i am ignorant i can be blissful i have a purpose i am not the body i am not the mind and ego i am the divine soul i must be liberated i am wasting my life 
I seek to unite with the Supreme. Stop and be clear of these 10 simple realizations, my dear friends. And when you are clear, move on to the goal of Pirlu. And next week we will talk of Pirlu. But if anybody wants to ask a question today, we will now move on to ask air. And I'm happy to answer questions on enlightenment on these 10 key realizations. The administrator has pasted up for your benefit the 10 key realizations. You can copy it from the chat if you have not copied, but you should know it and you should write it down. And it is very, very simple. Rib problem solves. RIB, PBM, SLWS. So even your sleep also, like a, you can remember 10 key realizations. Over to you, my dear friends. Let us get on. Administrator, you can unmute everybody. And let us start with uh, questions on asking. Yes, who would who be the champion of questions today? You have all the 10 realizations. You know all these realizations. Are you stuck somewhere? Where are you stuck? What is holding you back? Who is going to come as a champion and tell us where are you stuck? Yes. Everybody is in meditation today. Shibu everybody, everybody is in silence, still meditation. Shibu Amrekha. I sometimes waste my life. Good. I, need, I love you. I love your honesty. I love I your honesty. No, you are not the only one who's wasting life, Rekha. You have many friends who are who are feeling ashamed to raise their hand and say, I'm wasting my life. How many people have the courage to raise, raise your hand and say, I'm wasting my life? How many people have the courage? We have no courage. You know, we are, you know, I wasted 46 years of my life. I, I am telling you, I wasted 46 years of my life. And after 46 years, I tell many of you who talk to me, don't waste a moment. Yeah. Whatever you have wasted is gone down the drain. Rekha, you can't go back and bring it. It's gone down the gutter. Yes. But you can get hold now. of today. Now. Yes. Today, tomorrow. Now. Don't waste. I won't. I won't. Don't be a yogi. Live in yes. yoga. Live. Mm -hmm. Try to. See, and I've given you simple things. What are the 10 realizations, Rekha? You remember yes. the 10 realizations? Yes. What I are must realize. Yes. I'm ignorant. I yes. can be blissful. I yes. can have to have a purpose of life. Yes. And then I'm not the body mind. Yes. Ego. Then I'm the spark. Yes. I must be liberated. Yes. I'm wasting my life. And yes. I have to seek and unite with the Lord. Excellent. I have to. See, is it difficult I'm, what I've given you all? Ten no. simple, ten simple key realizations to start the serious quest of enlightenment. Yes. These 10 simple key realizations mm -hmm. will make you and don't lose these 10. These 10, if you no. lose means that you lost, like you lost the basic you lost. Mm -hmm. I have given you 10 childlike, childlike simple real, key realizations. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I'm so happy, Rekha, you've you've start championed this question answer session by admitting so beautifully. Yeah. Wasting. I am wasting my life. I am wasting my life. Should not. Huh? I should never do this. Okay. So don't lose a moment from today. No. Good. Thank no. you, Rekha. Who Thank else you. Wants to, who else wants to speak? Ask question or share like Rekha did. And ask tough questions. Ask Shivam whatever ego. tough questions. Shivam Yogini. Mind and ego. Mind is not there. But ego is there in dormant state. Yeah. So is ego a sanskar which has come uh, with the at the time of uh, because Why, when it is dormant, where did you pick this? Where did you pick this word sanskar? Where did you pick this word? No, I have heard a lot about this. What is sanskar according to you? 
Sanskar means it is something which go, never goes from us. Samskar is supposed to be, sub, samskar is supposed to be what they call impressions that are on your subconscious, on your subtle existence, on the sukshma sharir. Yes. Now, getting into more and more complications is not needed. See, samskar, nobody really knows. <coughs> nobody really knows whether the samskars are of the past janma or of the present janma. Very difficult to analyze these things. What exists is the mind, you know, is a bundle of thoughts. You can let go of it. You can kill it. You still the mind, you kill the mind. You know it. Right. Now, ego, you cannot kill it. We already discussed it in the last so many yes. sessions. You have to transcend the ego. You have to let go of the ego. You drop it. It will not die. It will remain. But don't worry about some scars because this is a psychological pressure you're creating on yourself. Oh, these are my some scars. No, you can change it. You can change your some scar. You don't have to live with your some scars. See, uh, you know, you know, have I told you all the story of the scorpion and the frog? No. There was once a scorpion and a frog, they were two best friends. So the, scorp the frog used to swim from one part of the island to the other part of the uh, other, I the, uh, across the lake and tell the scorpion, you know, that other side has got such beautiful trees and fragrance and fruits and beautiful and you useless scorpion, you have not seen that. So the scorpion tells him, okay, one day you take me and go, we'll go. The frog says, you think I'm bloody mad or what? If I take you, you will sting me and I will die. I will not come close to you. The scorpion tells him, you are an idiot frog. Because I am not telling you come close to me. You be in the water. I will jump on your back. Then you take me across. Then I cannot sting you. Because if you are, I'm on your back. If I sting you, then I will also sink along with you. So the frog said, yeah, okay, scorpion is talking intelligently. He told him, jump on the back. And they were talking as two good friends and he was swimming across the lake, taking him there. Halfway down, the scorpion stung the frog. And now the frog is going to die. And the frog asked the scorpion, why did you sting me? Now I am also going to die and you also are going to die. We both are going to die. And what did the scorpion say? He said, what to do? I am a scorpion. Yeah. What to do? I am a scorpion. My job is to sting. This is so, some scam. You are talking like this. You get my point? I am trying to say, sir, since the ego is dormant, it can pop up anytime. You know? Yeah, but you have got a free will. Scorpion cannot become a frog. Understand that. But you are not a scorpion. You are a human being. You are a human being with an intellect. And you are a human being with a soul. And when you realize that the soul is within, you can make the impossible possible. Don't get caught by some scar of stories. This story I told you because recently that Kamukonsa movie, Darlings, Darlings, Kush movie, made, they have made this movie, I believe, with the same story. Somebody told me. I don't, sometimes I rarely listen to stories, but I listened to this story because it had a moral in it. So, my dear friends, we are not doomed. We human beings are the only ones who can transform our life. So don't get carried away by this scorpion business and this samskar business. No. Okay. I am the divine soul. What I told you, uh, Yogini, what did I tell you today? RIB, yeah. PBM, SLWS. Yeah, they have Kya bola? Bolo. Realize the truth. I have no, to. I, I must realize. I must realize the truth. Yeah, I must realize the truth. I can be bliss. Uh, I am ignorant. Correct. I have to be blissful. I can be blissful. I can be blissful. I must discover my purpose. Correct. I am not the body. I am not the mind and ego. Good. I am the divine spark. Uh, spark uh, the unique. Uh, the soul. I am the divine soul. I am the divine soul. And I must be liberated. Yes. yes. I'm wasting my life. 
Yeah. So I seek to unite the Supreme Source. Very good. That's all you come. Is what I'm saying so difficult? No, sir. Samatma is difficult. What are we saying? Samatma, 10 points is very difficult. No, it's very simply put. I mean, we can't forget it. It is so easy. RIB, PBM, SLWS. Etna easy hai, etna easy hai. Don't lose. This is such a simple thing. Okay, it's not my time to talk. So I'm, I've already finished my talk. But if you don't have any questions, then I have to elaborate. Who would like to ask the next question on this? The 10 key realizations or something holding you back from enlightenment, something holding you back from nirvan, moksha, happiness, somebody's made something making you the body, the mind, something making you the ego. Over to you. Yes, Bliko. Shivoham. 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 So this uh, B is blissful, right? I can be blissful. Blissful. So I have a question regarding that. So yes. in, a, in a situation in, a, in this life, we get ups and down. That, uh, that is, uh, you know, is inevitable. But how to maintain that blissful, cheerful from inside, and you know, remain in that status for all the RIB PBM SLWS. That is the way. Continuously rotate on that one. Because Blico, ah. if you say I must realize the truth, I am ignorant. I can be blissful. I can be eternally blissful. I can be eternally blissful. How how Blico? I have to discover purpose. I am not the body. I am not the mind. Who may who, who suffers Blico? The body, the mind. I am the divine soul. The moment you are the soul, Blico, then are you blissful or are you not blissful? The soul is Satchidan and Swarup. The soul is supposed to be a state of eternal divine bliss. I must be liberated, liberated from suffering. I am wasting my life. What am I wasting my life, Blico? In these attachments, pleasures, possessions, people of the samsar. What is the samsar going to get me? Samsar se ghar mil gaya sab mila to kya mila. Is it true or not? I am wasting my life. I seek to unite with the Supreme. Bliko, this is the mantra given today. I can be eternally blissful. It is in these 10 steps. You don't have to go beyond these 10 steps. If you want enlightenment, you have to go forward. I'm not saying these 10 steps will give you the complete enlightenment. But these 10 steps are enough to push you forward in the quest. I must realize the truth. I am ignorant. I can be eternally blissful. I have a purpose. I'm not the body. I'm not the mind ego. I am the divine soul. I must be liberated. I am wasting my life. I seek to unite with the Supreme. What you said, Bliko, very beautifully. Do this like a clock. Do this like a clock. Tick, 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 tick. Only clock has 12, this has 10. Do it like a clock. And check like how Rekha Parvani said, hey, I am really wasting my life. I am, damn it, I am wasting my life. We need such sparks. We need such an impetus. We need something to push us out. Yes, Bliko, we can be eternally blissful. This is the truth and the truth and nothing but the truth. Administrator Chidanan saying something. Can you read out, please? Yes, sir. Yeah, what does Chidanan say? When we try to bring one other person on this path of spirituality, we find that person's samskara nor making him see through. 
But when one realizes the spirituality is for one who realizes these 10 key realization, he should not bother for others, but liberate himself first. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing. Chidan and Sunil uh, Sip, no doubt our first job is not to worry about others. Our first job is not to worry about others. But if we are ourselves enlightened with the truth, then we must dedicate our life to helping others. So I hope, Sridharan, you are agreeing with what I am saying. When you have realized the truth, then should you be selfish and just sit in your own corner and keep your bliss? Then if you are not sharing the wisdom, then you are depriving others of the enlightenment. Because this, this, uh, this Amrit, this Amrit of enlightenment is more precious than the biggest Kohinoor of diamonds. You cannot get it. You may be willing to pay crores and millions and billions. Can you buy enlightenment? Can you get it online? Can you shop enlightenment? You can't. You can give all the money you have in the world. Can you get enlightenment? You can't. Therefore, it is a duty of somebody who has realized the truth, who has been enlightened. That person must dedicate their life to helping sincere jigyasus, sincere seekers on the path. Thank you, Jadarant. Who else would go? Next, we still have time. Gautam. Yes, Gautam. Ed Shiva Mayor. Shivam Gautam. Er, uh, after uh, after getting uh, reborn, uh, after that we learn something in after after going to school school we learn something. Okay. Yes. After that uh, we earn and success and fulfillment fulfill, uh, fulfillment and uh, everything will be. So can we escape the part two and part three and after learning can we go to diet enlightenment? Of course. Of course you can go. So there are in the in the in the it was in these four ashramas. So one is the Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya, then Grahastha, then Vanaprastha, then Sanyas. In the olden days, they talk about the four ashramas. One is Brahmachari. Brahmachari means the guru teaches the student to walk with God. Brahmacharya. Then grahastha. Grahastha means you get married, you get children. But after that, you are supposed to leave the marriage, the children, and you are supposed to go to Vanaprastha. Vanaprastha means go to the forest. And after that, you are supposed to take sannyas. But many children who are in the Brahmacharya, they did not go to Vanaprastha. They did not marry. They did not have families. In the Brahmacharya state, they wanted to become they wanted to become yogis. They directly went from learning to liberation. They did not go to earning at all. But that needs a lot of commitment because we are attracted by this samsar. We want all the active pleasures and possessions and people. It is not that pleasures are bad, but our, and our focus has to be enlightenment. Our focus has to be liberation. Our focus has to be RIB, PBM, SNWS. Our focus needs to be, I am the divine soul. I must be liberated. I'm wasting my life. I seek the supreme. Yes, I can't hear you go. I can't hear you go. And do we don't think that we can't, we can't, we can escape second and third point and diet after learning, can we directly go to enlightenment? Yes, difficult. you can. You can. But for example, you have a problem. My mother says like that. My father says like this. My family says like this. Then how do you deal with it? You're already got married now. Now can you undo the marriage? Can you push back the marriage? Can you reverse and change your marriage? You have a child. What did Buddha do? What did Buddha do? People say Buddha is a scoundrel, man. He left his wife and child and went, you should shoot him. Some people, some people say, you must take a gun and shoot that fellow. But Buddha knew, Buddha knew, Are ye to ho gaya na. I got married, I got a child. My princess and my prince, my wife and my prince, they will get taken care by the Raja, by the, by the king. 
why should I waste my life? I can't reverse my marriage. How Buddha left? Buddha was a young prince, Yuvraj. How he left, how he went. How many of us have courage? Do we have courage to be Buddha? We don't have the courage. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Next question, please. We have a few minutes to go close the call. Who wants to get into this deep question? I told you, question answers are the way. Put your questions, put your personal experiences, put your situations. Without asking questions, you cannot be enlightened. Ask, investigate, realize the truth. You must ask questions. I have been teaching you this. Please don't hesitate to ask questions. Don't care what others in the call think about you or your question. It doesn't matter. The question should come from, if you don't have question, that means you're not progressing. You must have questions. You must have question every day. That is the way. If you keep doing what you're doing, you will keep getting what you're getting. You have to keep on asking, keep on asking, keep on asking, keep on asking. Then only you will keep on getting the answers and you will move forward. Come on. Last two, three questions. Who's going? Shivam Air. Shivam. Today I sat in silence mm -hmm. and I, I felt very blissful. Mm -hmm. But then again, I get distracted after some time. Mm -hmm. But with silly thoughts. So how what do I do? I know I have to still the mind. You get distracted by what thoughts? Very silly thoughts sometimes. So you realize, right, when a silly thought is coming, who's giving this thought? Is it consciousness or mind? The mind. So what should you, if you are in consciousness, when this thought comes, what should you do? Push it out. I have to yes. push it out. Thoughts will not knock at the door. Mm. They come in uninvited and smash you on the floor. Mm. Push them out and shut the door. The door. See, and if you let, Rekha, if you yes. let the thought enter, mm. thoughts will not knock at the door. They will not come and ask you, Rekha, hello Rekha, mm -hmm. I am a thought. I want to come. Can I come? Will, the, will mm -hmm. the thought ask you like that, Rekha? No. No, they just come. Thoughts will not knock at the door. They come uninvited and they push you on the, and they smash you on the floor. Smash you on the floor, yes. Push them out and yes. shut the door. Mm. Yes. You have to have the courage. Push that thought out and tell the damn it, thought, get up! Yes. Get up! You have to have the courage. Push the thought out. And shut the door. I have to. Please Thank stop you. it, stupid, right? Stop it, stupid. Yeah, stop it, stupid is very stop it. stupid is a very good mantra. Yeah. The book I is out. That. I told you the book is online available and hard copy also available. Yes, the, you, honey. Stop it, stupid is the best thing to do. I use the every time I'm stupid, I look at myself and I tell myself, Hey, you stupid, you bloody stupid, you stupid, 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 stop it, stupid. I tell myself, lesser and lesser now, but I have told myself many times, many times, even in 2022. Even in 2022, I tell myself, stop it, stupid. Bliss. Hi, Shwam, dear. Shivoham, Bliss. I would like to know how I can not get attached to someone and no, I, no get sad when this person get out of my life. Example, you, yeah. I have you, someone now I will lost because he go out to, to walk with me and it's really a sad moment for me because I was attached to him. I, I like travel with him and it was a good co-worker. It's, it's not easy to think it will go and unhappy. 
it go and it will get a better life probably, but it's me. <laughs> so, so, bliss, <laughs> so bliss, every time we are attached to somebody, we are surely going to break our heart. Every time we have somebody who we are, we want to be with, and then we become depend, our happiness becomes dependent on that person. So then we will be disappointed. We have to learn. I'm not saying we should not have a person who is a co-worker, who's a friend. They can be there, but we should be independent. We should follow the 10 laws of detached attachment. Yes, yep. I'm able to do, but... but you, you feel sad. Why you feel sad? Because I will lose him. Yeah, but it's everybody, one day we will anymore. lose. No, one day we will lose everybody. Everybody we yeah. will lose. So it's not bad to have somebody, but if somebody goes, it's okay. Find somebody else. Yes. You find somebody better. I don't know. <laughs> no, you <Okay. laughs> see, you have to understand that in this yeah. world, people will come and people will go. This world is just a show. Yes, I understand. Suppose somebody very close to me, they die tomorrow. Very close to me, they die. What can I do? Tell me, Bliss, what can I do? Cry? Keep on crying? Oh, 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 crying, 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 crying. No, it's already rebirth in someone. Yes, yeah, so you have to accept. Yes. You have to accept and you have to surrender. And the best thing is we should love, but we should not be attached. When we are attached, then we become sad. When we are attached, then what you say, oh, I'm disappointed, my co-worker, Walker, I used to walk with him and now he's somebody dear to me and now he's not there. Oh. <laughs> so, so, so tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm not like this like, oh no. I'm so, so, I'm so, so shy. Learn, you know something, Bliss? When yeah. we are in a spiritual journey, we are happy mm -hmm. all the time. Suppose yeah. somebody I love, somebody I love a lot says, bye bye. I don't want to see your dirty face. Bye bye. So what I can do? They don't want to see my dirty face. What can I do? You cannot do anything. So you have to learn yeah. to accept and to surrender. This is all spirituality. Yeah. In spirituality, we learn, we come alone we go alone and yeah. whoever is with us they are a manifestation of the divine it's good to have people like that but we should not be attached because if we are attached we are going to be unhappy and we are going to feel sad i feel so lonely i feel so sad <laughs> i feel i'm alone now nobody with me nobody with you you are divine why should nobody be with you Mm -hmm. You be strong. Sip is inside. Yeah. You're okay. Right. So, so yeah. find, look out and you will find the divine. Somebody, the divine is there, already there. Today you will tell me tomorrow, oh, I got a new divine ship has come into my life. No problem. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go <Gautam>, yes. <laughs> I want to ask one more question. Yeah. Uh, er, how do I decide for myself that uh, enlightenment is the priority priority for me? How do I decide that? No, you don't. You don't decide. You just be in the samsara and you go to shop and then you earn money and then you die and you will be reborn and you come back instead of Gautam, you will come back as Rakesh. Why you want enlightenment? No, no there's need. any tool. Nobody's there's forcing any tool. you. Nobody's forcing you for enlightenment. Nobody forcing you. Enlightenment is a choice. Enlightenment is an intelligent choice. You realize that's see what is today's discussion, Gautam. I gave you 10 points. What are the 10 points? Bolo, the other 10 points. 
I don't remember. I I remember only a few points. See, you must write it down. How others remember? R I B. I must realize the truth. I am ignorant. I can be blissful forever. R I B. P B M. I have a purpose. I am not the body. I am not the mind. S L W S. I am the soul. I must be liberated. I am wasting my life. I seek to reunite with the supreme. अगर ये R I B P B M S L W S. If you are paying attention to this, it's very simple. It's just like you are asking me. Uh, in my plate, I have got chapati and bindi. Ah, huh? chapati and bindi. Should I eat the chapati and bindi or should I eat the plate? What you eat? Chapati and bindi or plate? Chapati and bindi, absolutely. Why don't eat chapati bindi? You throw chapati bindi. Eat the plate. We can't eat plate. Why you can't eat the plate? Break it in pieces and eat it. Why you can't eat? So because this is what because you are not ignorant. Sometimes you give kutta, you give a dog. The dog he will he will throw the food and he will hold the plate in the mouth. He will be running with the plate in the mouth. Then that's a dog, na? Buddhi nahi hai, kutta hai. So we are intelligent beings. As an intelligent being, enlightenment is important. As an intelligent being, nirvana is important. These ten key realizations are important. What is the purpose of our life? Who are we? Why are we here? That is what today's session. What did we speak on today? Today is exactly the ten simple realizations. Okay. Last two questions. Thank you. Today. Thank you. Two questions before we close. And if you don't have questions, we'll close now. Yes, I have a question. Yes, please ask I me. I have another question. Yes. Sometimes ego is really hard to manage. And I would like to have a method to do down, down the ego, because control the ego and because you keep on saying, I, I, from so many years, no bliss. From such a long time, you think, I, I am, blah, blah, blah. I, I want this. I need this. You do what I say. You shut up. I tell you, shut up. So this is what <laughs> is the conditioning of the ego. Slowly, slowly, you drop the ego. How you drop the ego? You drop the ego by realizing what is this ego? Look in the mirror and tell yourself, hey, this mirror, not me. This is just my body. This body will die. I am not this body. When you are all the time talking about I am not the body, I am not the mind, then the ego is not, the, what is ego? Ego is nothing. Mm -mm. R I B. I I must realize the truth. I am ignorant. I can be blissful. I have a purpose. I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am the soul. When we realize this bliss, I am not body. I am not mind. I am the soul. Where is the ego? There is no ego. Ego is just an illusion. It's like a rainbow in the sky. It appears, but it's nothing. You can't catch the rainbow. You cannot take rainbow to your house. And what what I can do? What is one is up here? You know, it it's appear, always been a problem for me because when, it's abstract. Yes. When it appear, you tell yourself, "I am nothing. I do nothing. I am nothing. I am nothing." Just repeat yourself three words: "I am nothing." I, I remember am nothing. Remember, right? Yes. I am nothing. I am nothing. This is the truth. This is the truth. When you realize I am nothing, you become everything. When you think I am everything, you become nothing. 
So this is what my master used to teach me. I am nothing. Huh? Oh Lord, what am I? I am nothing. You are everything. Administrator mm -mm. Tushat, thank you. Administrator Tushat has a question. Administrator. Administrator Tushat Ma's question. Shivoham, are we here on earth since when it was created and till now we haven't attained enlightenment? Tushatma, you know when you came, no? When you came to earth, you know it. Stick to that. You were born on a particular day. That was not your birthday. Stick to that. That day, minus nine months, you came as a spark because of karma. You were born. Tushatma, one day, Tushatma will die. And people will say, you passed away. Stick to that. Don't try. They say, don't try to eat the elephant in one bite. You know what it means? Tushatma, can you eat full elephant? I'll give you elephant from the jungle. I'll bring and give you. Can you eat the whole elephant, Tushatma? Can you eat elephant? Don't try to eat the elephant. You are trying to eat the elephant. What happened when the earth started? I came that time when the earth started. Till now, I am not getting enlightenment. Why are you, why are you trying to eat elephant? Go. You are Today you are Tushatma. Today you want happiness. You want enlightenment. You want RIB, PBM, SLWS. I don't know whether you are there in the call. It's the chat. Please pick it up. Stick to these 10 simple key realizations. Don't try to eat the elephant. You will die tomorrow. If you try to eat the elephant, you will be finished. So don't do it. Go step by step. Rekha Choudhury. Rekha Choudhury. Shivoham. Shivoham. Bolo. आप बोलेगी, पूछेगी कुछ? आपका आवाज नहीं आ रहा है, आपका आवाज नहीं आ रहा है। So some of us are like this, some of us are mysterious. So my, so my difference. Sometimes, I will say, please mute, I will say, mute. My dear friends, it is so important. Let me close by telling you, it is so important for us to live a simple life. And the simple life is the realization. See, some of us, instead of trying to be happy in this moment, we are trying to be happy in yesterday. You can't. Some of us trying to be happy tomorrow. Oh, you can't. Silly, aren't we not silly people? We can be happy now. We don't want to be happy now. What we can, what we are giving in our hand, we want to throw it away. What we don't have in our hand, we are searching. But what is in our hand, we don't appreciate that. We throw it away. Then how will you be happy? How will you be happy? You have to count your blessings. You have to be in that simple mode of RIB. PBM, SLWS, I've given you 10 simple key realizations. Please try to concentrate on these 10 key realizations. And please try to move forward on the path. This is the way. I want to conclude with one minute of the most important information. My dear friends, this is the right way to live life. This is the right way to happiness. This is the right way to peace. This is the right way to be liberated from misery. This is the right way to realize God. This is the right way to be liberated from this samsara. This is the right way to be free from rebirth. This is the right way to find the purpose of life. Don't like that man who was a tightrope walker. Don't live without trust. Give this journey complete faith. 
complete trust. Let go of illusions. Let go of this illusory world. I'm not saying you should not enjoy this world. I myself find this world to be so beautiful. I enjoy every moment of my life. But I live as a yogi. I live as a yogi ever united with the divine. And I seek all of you to try to be a yogi with R-I-B P-B-M S-L-W-S. With folded hands, we will see you tomorrow at 8.